All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do things a little bit differently this week. Um, just for a break from the normal technique we do, we're going to break down warm ups, like three basic warm ups, and why we do them. So, you go to any jiu jitsu school in the world, most of the time they'll have some kind of like calisthenic warm up, and then they'll have rollouts. Off the top of my head, is usually some kind of technical stand up, a forward roll, a backward roll, a shrimp. So, why do we do these things? Or is, it, is it just to prepare the body to roll? Yes, in, in a way, but they're also techniques. So we're going to explore basically three different warm-ups and how they're used. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is a forward uh, whirl, which we're doing now. Next one we're going to look at is the backwards roll, which the guys are doing right now. Again, avoiding the head and the neck, you want to go over the shoulder. It's one of those things where the slower you go, the harder it is. Uh, and the last one we're going to do the last one we're going to look at today is the shrimp slash technical stand-up that you can see the guys are doing now. So for this one, I combined the two. I made them do a shrimp and then a shrimp on the elbow, a shrimp on the hand, and then into the technical stand-up. And we're going to look at the application of all three of those today. Again, this is not the only way to apply them. It's just when I teach beginners why we do these warm-ups, it's the easiest way for me to show them, hey, these aren't just things to get your body prepared for jiu-jitsu. These are, can be actual techniques. I'm going to shoot on Rob, Rob's going to sprawl, start working his way to my back, right? So again, it's not going to be a crappy shot because I know he's going to sprawl on me. I'm legitimately practicing my shot, he's just going to time it, right? So here I shoot, he sprawls on me here, he gets to my side, good. He's on my right side, which means I'm going left, okay? From here, I'm going to, oh, sorry, sorry, first one. He's on my right side, so I'm going to go right. I'm going to roll back into the guard, okay? Again, I'm not trying to take up a lot of space. Essentially, I'm trying to roll in place. So he's on my right side. I'm gonna ditch my right shoulder to the floor. My right foot is gonna anchor onto his hip here and watch my motion. My left leg goes out wide, cast a wide net to get him back into the guard here. If you're lucky, you'll end up in a triangle or something, but that's not what I'm concerned about now. From here, again, I shoot, he sprawls, right? Boom, he sprawls. As soon as he gets to my side, he's on my right side. I'm gonna ditch right, I'll try to do as slowly as possible. My right foot anchors on his hip and my left leg swings around wide to end up in a closed guard. Cool, we've been doing this for like the past month, but I know some of you guys are new, so let's just practice this one more time this week. Any questions? All right, what's up? Yes. From here, I shoot, he sprawls, he works his way to my back, okay? He's on my right side right now. I'm gonna do a forward roll to my right side, okay? So again, forward roll to my right side, right side stays anchored, left leg swings around. You know this before, right, Jeff? No. Are you serious? One hundred percent. Alright. Any questions? Alright, on three. One, two, three. Right. So that's one of the ways we use the forward rolls. That's used one of the ways we use the backward rolls, and we're gonna tie it all, all over. We're gonna tie it all over. We're gonna tie everything up today. Okay? So independently, I'm gonna be in the closed guard here, and Ernest starts going for a double underpass. Right? So he breaks my guard however he wants. Goes to a double underpass. He's gonna be nice and gentle with me here. Lock your hands together. And he's gonna start initiating the double underpass to one side or the other. Go ahead. And he's gonna allow me, yep, keep going, keep going, keep going, to backwards roll out of it. Here, as soon as I backwards roll out of it, I want you to double leg your partner and end up on top. Sorry, just hit your ankle. Again, one more time. Again, person on top, don't smash him. The drill is for the person on the bottom. You're gonna break the guard however you want. Yep, boom, double under. As you initiate the double under, exactly, your partner's gonna take you to one side or the other. From here, you're gonna roll out of it. As soon as you roll out, you can go from your knees, or you can build up to your base, and you're gonna double leg your partner over to end up on top. Any questions? Cool, all right, on three, one, two, three. Make sure you avoid rolling over your head and your neck, go over to a side. That's the whole point of the drill. All right, get to it. All right, so, last thing before we tie everything together. I'm in the guard here. So if we're practicing this independently, we can get to a standing position using technical stand-up, right? So, just like we did before, top arm frames across the neck slash shoulder, okay? Shrimp, then you're gonna shrimp on your elbow, foot, hand, and a technical stand-up. Person who's on top, you're just giving me like 10% resistance trying to uh, keep the forward pressure, okay? So, we're here, right? I decide to stand up. I'm going to shrimp. Yeah, look, he's already pushing into me. If my frame is weak, he's going to be able to keep me down, right? So I got to keep a strong frame here. Onto my elbow, still pushing into me. Onto my hand, still pushing into me. And then I clear for the technical setting. Cool? Yep. All right, this is the last thing we do before we tie everything together. On three, one, two, three. Get to it. Now let's tie everything together. 
you don't always have to do it like this, but hopefully the warm-up drills we do in the beginning start making sense, right? So from here, I lock up with Ernest, right? I get to his back however I want, saggy drag him to the floor here, he's gonna hit the forward roll, boom, right into my double under, right? So I go double under, I start passing, I'm gonna let him, sorry, that's my fault, <laughs> I'm gonna let him back roll, it's gonna take me down, boom, press into the closed guard, and now I frame and trim, frame and trim, frame and trim, and now we're back to spinning. Now he does it to me, right? So he hits a slide by, he gets to my back, boom, right? Breaks me down, right? Now it's my chance to forward roll into the guard, and I should forward roll right into his double under here. He's gonna start stacking me, so, yep, here, and then I hit him with the double leg, and now I'm trying to keep him down. I see any space to hit the technical stand. So it's just kind of hitting everything we've done so far. Cool. All right, on three, one, two, three, go. So looking at it in a loop here, Dave gets to Josh's back, hits the sag and drag. Josh rolls in, in the forward roll, double under backwards roll, double legs Dave, and Dave is gonna post and hit the shrimp into the technical standup. This is just a nice little loop in order to kind of flow everything together. Again, not too much resistance. I prefer to warm up like this, get a little bit of practical practice into it instead of just doing hey we're gonna do a bunch of jumping jacks and then push-ups and sit-ups which is again nothing wrong with that but if i can get as much jujitsu in as in an hour an hour and a half class as possible let's say a warm-up is 10 minutes and you come five days a week that's 50 more minutes of jujitsu you've done as opposed to 50 more minutes of calisthenics which again it's it's fine but it's just my preference especially for beginners that extra 10 minutes a day can really make a difference at the end of the year